Hey guys, so I apologize if it looks like I just woke up. It is because I literally just did not too long ago. So when I woke up, I checked my Amazon seller account and it took me to this screen. It took me to Amazon two-step verification, which it was this one actually. And all you have to do, it says enable two-step verification because it's the only option it gives you. Yeah, you can't even go back, but it says you must add two-step verification to protect your account before you can access it. So I'm assuming that means that I actually did get in. And also when you tap that button, I did get a bunch of emails. They say, welcome to selling on Amazon. Welcome to fulfillment by Amazon. Amazon.com seller account protection and, and then like the same thing is repetitive, but pretty much they're telling me that I got accepted All I have to do is use this app to Access my account and I put my phone number in but they haven't sent me a text So what I want to do is just go through the authenticator app So it says generate codes even if you don't have cell service which can be common at times when you're inside stores like you might not have the best service So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. So it says go to the app store you have to download, look for, search for Authenticator app. So go to the app store. Authenticator, look at the top of the list here. I'm gonna go ahead and just go with Google cause you know, I love Google. So okay, once that downloads, it's gonna be right there. So this we're gonna do, we're gonna copy and paste this right here. Go back here, begin setup, we'll go manual entry. We'll type in the key first and I'll type in my user account. I guess it's gonna be your email. Here you get a code after you hit submit and put your email in. And it has a timer in the bottom right corner that you have to submit it in a that certain amount of time or else it expires. That's my code. It turns red when it gets towards the end, but I'm just going to go ahead and wait until it gives you a new code and then type it into the seller account. So here we go. We type in 180262, verify code and continue. Sorry if I look like crap right now. Like I said, I just woke up. But <laughs> what I did yesterday is I got a bunch of items that... I collected while I was moving into this new apartment like well I moved out of my old apartment to this one with my girlfriend and I found a bunch of my stuff that I didn't need and I started putting it on offer up and eBay Poshmark I saw was more for clothing so I didn't go there yet I pretty much put all that stuff on eBay I think I sold already two things on eBay which one was a watch another one was a PS3 I guess electronics do really good so that's a high recommendation you guys resell and that watch I had it at 150 somebody offered me 65 bucks which I was like, you know what man screw it I had this watch for so long the freaking these batteries so I was like you know what I sell for 65 I think I'm gonna pay a little more for the batteries uh, then I put some braces on offer up some lady offered 20 and she paid the 30 bucks but then it does like shipping because she's from California and for some reason that transaction's not going through and then some guy wanted to buy my barber DVDs for 30 bucks and then he ended up not buying for me because he wanted he saw it on eBay for 25 bucks so I was like yo I'll just sell them for 25 bucks to you he didn't reply but whatever that's part of the game you know if I don't sell it now it'll eventually sell because obviously there's some kind of demand for it I got an offer that quick. So what I'm trying to say here is that while you're waiting for your Amazon seller account to be accepted, I would go ahead and do the same exact thing, grab a bunch of your stuff, start selling it on Amazon. You can, I mean, not Amazon, I'm sorry, on eBay, since you can't sell on that platform. If you're new on eBay, you only get a limit of five sales per month or like five listings per month. If you're, I guess, a vet, I had my account since 2015, not much of a vet, but I only get like 50 listings or, yeah, I think I get 50 listings, which is a lot. I think I have like 25 right now, which I'm gonna need more once I start doing this because I'm gonna start seeing that things really sell. And uh, if you guys want me to make a video on how to sell on eBay, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Like it's pretty simple of how fast you can list things and how fast you can search things that actually sell. So go ahead and leave a comment down below if you guys want me to make a video on that. If you guys don't leave a comment, then obviously there's no point in me making a video because there's no demand for that video. So guys, it's official. Uh, I didn't get the code, so I was like, you know what? You can skip the verification for that. You can add it on later. So here is my Amazon seller account. As you can see, I have not made any sales. It's a fresh, new, brand new account. Okay guys, so I was just editing all of yesterday's clips, which obviously this is gonna be a part of the video. And everything I did after the last clip that you just saw was pretty much a failure because what I did is I went out and actually took action and started scanning items. Went to Marshalls, went to Dollar Tree, went to Goodwill as well, I went to two of them. So let me pretty much sum it up how it went. So what happened was that when I went to the first store, which was Marshalls, everything I applied for was pretty much restricted. So as a beginner, when you start selling on Amazon, you can expect this to happen. You're gonna have very limited access to the things you can sell. Which is why I feel like the courses that I've seen, or the course that I've really been watching, the person I've been sticking to, he started selling off books. I did find a pair of shoes that would profit me $4, which was like a 30 something percent ROI. However, it was only one pair. I mean, I should have got it, but at the same time, I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna leave it there. Later on, when I got home, I looked it up and it just barely sells. It was only like a seasonal product, I think, because all, like, it was just not, it was just not a good product. 
it did have profit, but it wasn't a good product apparently. So then when I scanned everything else, everything else required approval, even like the dumbest little brands like Clark's, Levi's, like every single name brand required approval. So you know what, I'm just gonna leave it there. Like I'm not even gonna worry about this right now. I'm gonna worry about books because every single book out there, I'm pretty sure the majority of them, like 99% of them, you can sell. You're probably gonna be restricted only to selling new books because you can only sell used books. So at first when I went to Goodwill, I was like, yo, I want new books because it's just gonna be easier to sell these new books. So then I thought to myself, where can I go find cheap new books? The dollar store. So I went to the dollar store after I leave Goodwill, I kind of gave up on Goodwill real quick. I went to the dollar store and I went with my girlfriend, waited for her to get there. And then we charged our phones in the car real quick and then went inside and started scanning. And every time we scanned, we didn't notice it until like, it was kind of like a third book, fourth book. And the dollar stores have labels over the original labels. And it's the same exact label. So every time you scan it, it's the same exact book that comes up. Which was a big fat L because obviously we can't figure out what the actual book was. I tore one of the labels off to try to see what the book was scanning for. But obviously the majority of the books aren't going to have profit. From what I heard, the goal is to get rid of the bad books first or as fast as possible. And then you're going to find the good books. So after that, I was pretty bummed out and then I went to Goodwill and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna start scanning books here with my girlfriend. So then me and her started going to the shelves. However, the problem with this was that she didn't know exactly what to look for. So it took up my time a little bit. So we were only really able to find one book because we went very last minute since we went to the dollar store first and then we went to Goodwill again. And we pretty much lost a lot of time. We found one book, which is gonna profit me like $2. But point is, it's really not as easy as it seems, which a lot of people make it seem like that online, but it's because they've been doing it for a while. They have the access to sell Nike, Adidas, and all these other big products. I'm telling you, when I went to this Marshalls, there was so much to sell there. So let me get straight to the point of what this video is about. So I told you guys that the main point is that it's not easy, but we're gonna make it easy, as easy as possible. And the way we're gonna do it is we're gonna sell books. Only books, like I said, so the easiest way to do that is to get the app called Scout IQ. There's many other apps like Profit Bandit or Scoutly, which is used to be known as FBA Scan. They're free. I think two of them are, or one of them. I don't know. One of them. They, one of them charges you. Doesn't matter. Point is, let's go with Scout IQ though because that database is better. Because I know they charge you, I think like forty-four dollars a month. But initially, you have a fourteen-day free trial. It's a little scope right there. Not scope. I don't know what you want to call it. It's a target, I guess. And then that's what it looks like on the app. It's very simple, very basic. You have triggers that you can set up on your account when you set it up. I have mine to set up. I have mine at 40 cents shipping per pound. So it gives me like a good profit amount when I enter the, the cost. You can even put a cost on there, but I think I put mine like a dollar because I'm really trying to buy my books really cheap. So the good thing about this app, let me show you actually, I'm gonna get a book, the book that I bought yesterday, the only book that I found actually. The good thing about it is that it has a live and a database. So I recommend you guys to try the database out because it's gonna be faster when you scan. And obviously, like I said, the goal is to get out of the bad books first and then find the good books later. So we're gonna go ahead and hit the scout button right here and then hit the scan button and we're gonna scan it. That wasn't the database, but that's a pretty fast look. So the e-score is 129. Whoa, what am I saying? The e-score is 126, which means that in the 180 days, this book sold 126 times. And you can see it's called What Janie Found. What Janie Found. Same exact thing. If we go ahead and sell it, it's not a new book. We're going to go ahead and sell it used at 950. We're still profiting 262 even after we bought it at not 199. So 199 times my sales tax. 199 times the sales tax here in... Tallahassee is 2.14. So we go ahead and type in, here's where it's not that friendly, 2.14. I don't know how to get out of the screen. All right, perfect, I found the trick, you just double tap, so that needs no fixing. So I still shows you that I profit 148, which if I spent, it doesn't say the ROI, but if I spent 214, 1.48 divided by 214, I'm still getting a 69.16% ROI which is very solid, like 50% is good. So anything above that is great. I even had a template out here. It says 126, 126 is gonna sell in one day, basically. Estimated time on the next sale. They have this on Scott IQ's own page. They have like their own blogs. And you guys can see this is it's pretty good. That's really good. Usually the rank, we don't look at the rank no more. The reason we look at the e-score is because the e-score tells you how many times it sells out of 180 days. The rank can change very easily. I'm not gonna get into that because it's gonna get too complex and I don't even know how to explain it 100% good. But I promise you, just look at the e-rank. I told myself I'm only gonna buy it if it's above 25 because 25 sells in four to seven days, which is, I have no problem with that. 
that's estimated time. It could take a little longer, but either way, anything above 25 is good. Anything below is a week to two weeks. I'm not really trying to wait that long. I'm trying to get those sales at least within a week. And on top of that, it gives you more room to, it gives you more margin to find books instead of being so limited to just like the highest numbers. Cause obviously those are gonna be a little harder to find. Anyways guys, that's pretty much it for Sky IQ. I'm telling you, this is a key, 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 very key. I don't know why I keep waving the book around but it's a very key app and resource that you guys can use. It's free for the first 14 days, so I recommend you guys just scan your whole city, the whole entire city, wherever you live, for all the books that you possibly can while you have the free trial. And then I would probably cut it off until I go back and look for more because by this time you might have so many freaking books, then you can start shipping out big boxes. Save yourself on shipping costs, gives you more profit. It's just the smartest thing to do. And there's other apps as well, but like I said, this is probably the best one because as a database, it's gonna be fast and that's what you want. The key here is quick because obviously this takes a while to do the search through stuff. And the thing you wanna do is do it as fast as possible. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Also, if you guys have any questions or suggestions, leave them down in the comments below so I know exactly what you guys wanna see. And obviously, if you guys have questions, I'm more than glad to help you because that's what I'm here to do. That's why I'm making these videos. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure you guys keep grinding. Peace.